Welcome students. Uh, my name is Mr. Peters. I'm the media specialist at Woodbury High School and your teachers have asked me to to show you what resources we have available uh, on our Media Center resource page and how to search a database effectively. Again, uh, the reason we use uh, the databases versus just uh, Google is that we know that the information that we find uh, has been reviewed and it also uh, do part of the work for us in regards to the work cited. So we're going to show you how to do that today as well. All right, so if you're, when you're ready, go ahead and uh, open up Google. We're going to do a search for Woodbury High School. Once we're there, and again, anytime you're searching, uh, either at school or at home on your Chromebook or another computer, make sure you start here. We're then going to go to Students, go down to Media Center, and then go over to Media Center Resources. <clears throat> scroll down to databases and you'll notice that uh, we have a number of them that we subscribe to. Uh, we also have the username and passwords for all of these so that's helpful. You don't need a, a sheet. Maybe your teachers have already downloaded one. What we're going to do is uh, we're going to start with Electronic Library of Minnesota and we're going to open that one up. Go ahead and do that. Click on Student Research and then we're going to go over to uh, high school and you'll notice that there's a number of databases available and they also give you a short description of what you can find in the database and again a database is just simply um, electronic storage of information uh, newspaper articles magazine articles academic journals websites timelines multimedia etc we're going to go to a couple that I've used before that I think would be great for your uh, your grade level one is called the Gale One File High School Edition, InfoTrack Student Edition. And again, you can see it is loaded with popular high school magazines, newspapers, encyclopedias, etc. All right, we're going to click and open that up. And the one thing that I would do right away is I would sign in with your Google account. That way you can save articles directly to your account. And that way you don't have to worry about uh, trying to remember what database you used, what key terms you use to search. Uh, next thing we do is we click on advanced searching and the reason we do that is we can put in multiple terms we can also uh, decide how we want the computer to search it. I also have uh, clicked on documents with full text make sure that is uh, chosen otherwise you'll get uh, results that are abstracts which again are just summaries of the articles. Alright now I'm going to think of key terms and uh, words that I can put in the search boxes to have the computer search the millions of articles that are in this electronic database and find information that will help me write my paper. Alright, so my example is going to be on school uniforms in public schools. I am an advocate that I think uh, it would help for academic increasing academic scores, uh, reduce violence if public school students uh, wore school uniforms. So I'm going to think of key terms. First thing I'm going to put in is school uniforms. Once I start typing, the computer will try to figure out what I'm trying to search and help me out with the spelling. Because if you spell words incorrectly, you're probably not going to get any results. So I'm going to put in school uniforms. And once I find it, I can simply click on it. And you notice that the computer put quotations around the words. This is helpful because now the computer will search for those two words together instead of separate, which will help me. I can uh, take those off if I wanted, but I'm going to keep them on for now. Next thing I'm going to do is my topic is about school, school uniforms in public schools. So I'm going to put in public schools. And once uh, the computer tries to figure out what I'm going to uh, trying to type, I can just click on it. Now on the right hand side, you'll notice that there's several ways that I can have the computer search it. Keyword, basic, entire document or subject. Uh, subject is going to give me the least amount of results but the information will be uh, entirely on that topic. Entire document will give me the most results but this word will simply have to be in the document somewhere. Uh, basic search and keyword pretty similar. This will give me uh, in between the entire document and subject. So you can kind of play around with these. Um, I'm going to start with a subject search on school uniforms and entire document for public schools. And I could add a third term if I wanted to. 
make sure documents of full text is chosen, and then I'm going to search and try to find out um, what kind of results I get. All right, <clears throat> you'll notice that I get magazine articles, academic journals, and newspapers. Simply click on the link to access those. I will start with uh, magazines and kind of browse through them. Once I find an article that I think might help me, uh, I will simply click on the link. You'll notice that there's a description. It tells you a little bit about the article. Once I open it up, I can then uh, browse through the article. The key terms that I uh, put in my search box will come up in red, which is helpful. Also, once you find an article that is helpful, uh, the first thing you should do then is to cite that source. And I can do so by scrolling down to the bottom of the article, which will give me the citation, or simply click on the tools up on the top right. All right, so we use the MLA 8th edition here at Woodbury High School. I would select that then, copy it, and put it in my uh, Google Doc. I can also export the article to the, uh, my Google Drive by simply clicking on the Google Drive feature, which is really helpful. That way I don't have to remember what database I used, uh, how I got there, what key terms I used. So again, another reason why the, uh, the database is so much better than to search just uh, on Google. All right, so that's just a quick tutorial. Uh, again, I could go back and change terms. Once I find an article that is going to be useful, I'll look through those, uh, those articles and try to find key terms to help me with further, further researching. Remember, um, these databases on Electronic Library of Minnesota are wonderful. I would, uh, again, look at some of those, search the way that we, uh, we did for the uh, Gale 1 file, and find out information to help you write your paper and make sure that you cite the sources and also uh, download the articles to your Google Drive. I hope this has been helpful. Hopefully you guys will uh, have success with writing your paper. And uh, if you have any inform or troubles or need in, uh, some help, please feel free to email me. And my, uh, my email is bpeters at apps.district833.org. All right, you guys uh, enjoy uh, writing your paper. And uh, hopefully we'll see you soon.